there's a, a saying inside the walls, um, expect the worst, but hope for the best. I've never experienced anything like it. You're, you're constantly watching your back, you're constantly have this anxiety that you don't know what to expect. You don't know if you're gonna be beaten up, you don't know if you're gonna be, you know, killed in your sleep, or, you know, it's, I mean, anything can happen. Some places have a no hands policy, which is no fighting, it's uh, strictly knives and um, blades. They wouldn't even attack you with their fists, they'd straight up, you know, come up and try to kill you. The, the atmosphere you're surrounded in is a, is a very hard, cold-hearted uh, environment. There's no room for uh, crying or, you know, emotion. It's, um, it's, when you step the door, you really cut that part of you off, you know? If, if you show weakness, you will be, you know, you'll be, you'll be torn apart. If you're treated like a criminal, you know, you're, you're gonna start to believe you're a criminal. You're put into this environment of crime while you're inside the walls, whether you like it or not. Instead of rehabilitating, you're actually being criminalized in the process. It's a, a reoccurring, um, kind of like a revolving door. It's just um, a lot of return um, offenders. Adjusting to the outside world is very difficult for people that have been incarcerated. You, you still have a period of a few years once you get out that um, jaywalking will send you back for another couple years. Whereas the normal citizen, would only get you know a slap on the wrist, you know maybe a small fine. Whereas the people stuck in the system are going to get years. If you mess up again, which you probably will, like they would say, you know you probably will. They almost expected me to fail. It feels like I'm not socially acceptable now. I want to be able to feel. New. I want to be able to feel like I've been given a second chance, not waiting to be hung again. It's it's like um, the motivation to do right has almost been stripped because whether that you do right or not, you're still going to be judged on your past rather than the present. I definitely feel like you're a criminal before you're even convicted, just, just by the mood in the courtroom. To speak, I, I wasn't given one chance out of the 50 or, so, or you know, 20 or 30 or so times I went to court back and forth, you know, I was, I was shoved around like a, like, like a, you know, like an animal put back in this cage, you know, to come out, and I wasn't, when I came out, I, I wasn't even given the chance to say anything, you know? It's almost like it's as if you're guilty um, before proven innocent rather than innocent before proven guilty. To find out how inequality affects us all, read The Spirit Level by Richard Wilkinson and Kate Pickett or go to equalitytrust.org.uk.